Welcome to Yoga Biz Camp with myself, Michael J. I'm a yoga business coach with 25 plus years of experience as a creative, a total tech geek, and a yoga business owner. Today I'm taking a different approach and highlighting one of my solo clients, Annette Arsenault. She has been working with me for about four months and recently launched her own signature series to great success. So I'm thrilled to share her journey working with myself and finding her own flow state as she launches her own program. Enjoy. Well, welcome to another episode of Yoga Biz Camp. I'm Michael J, and I have a very special guest with me today, Annette Arsenault. So this is a little bit different today. Annette is one of my clients. Uh, so we have been doing uh, consulting and coaching um, for her uh, yoga business for probably the last three months. And I feel like a proud poppy with her <laughs> because um, she is somebody that has done the work and is just proof that you can launch a successful program without having an audience. And so I'm super thrilled to have Annette with me today. So welcome, Annette. Hey, Michael. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So we have a little love fest going on here, I think. Really. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. have such a great time with each other. And uh, and honestly, Annette, just working with you. I mean, I've been using you a little bit on my social media as my poster girl for really, um, you know, doing it, doing the work and launching a successful program. And I think um, Annette launched her program last week and more than met her goals. So mm -hmm. we, will, we, will, we will get to that, but I am so proud of just um, the work she's put into this. Um, and it's been a great process. So I'm gonna go through, um, let's talk about our process, Annette, because I think this is gonna be super helpful for um, especially solo yoga teachers. And I have been of the mindset lately um, for solo yoga teachers, I've been, um, wanting to help them create registered series. And because of that, because what I'm seeing is there's all these yoga teachers that are trying to hustle out there, trying to get people individually on virtual classes, which is a, it's a hard hustle and it's a daily hustle to do that. And so what I've done, I, I'm in a coaching program that has taught me a way um, to create programs where, and I say this a lot, don't I, Annette, where, um, you know, the people will pay for a solution to a problem. And I think we've kind of proved that. So this has been a bit of a pilot project with a few of my clients, but you have just by far just excelled <laughs> at this. So I want to, um, first of all, um, you know, we kind of started with your purpose and yeah. we, 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 you know, we did a deep dive. It was almost kind of, I don't know, very coachy kind of sessions, right? Where we really did a deep, a deep dive. And so you have a little bit of a story, um, you know, because your story has been important in creating your program. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's very, yeah. It was, it, it was the whole purpose of my program. So yeah. it, I'm so happy that you helped me let it out and find it. Yeah. So do you want to share that a little bit? You don't have to, sure. you know, it is a little bit of a, 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 you know, it has a bit of trauma involved in it, but you have been so open um, to sharing that story. So, you know, you don't need to go in great detail, but, you know, just if you could just give a sort of an overview of that path. Yeah, absolutely. So I've been sober for five years and this is really part of my story um, because in the past I was, escaping a lot. Even though I had yoga in my life, I was escaping a lot. Um, and I was plagued with anxiety. And I, it was this huge turmoil that I had to come over, overcome. And um, I, I used yoga and meditation and journaling and mindfulness practices to help me stay sober for these five years. And I I've just found that being more vulnerable with my story and sharing the ins and outs has really drawn my audience to me or people that are my people to me. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, I feel like that that's a very short statement. I can really yeah, get so, much I mean, so into basically, that. Basically, yeah. you, you, you know, you went, you went, um, you went west to California, got hooked yeah. into the, got hooked into the wrong kind of scene at that time. Right. Yeah. And then through that, you got clear with your yoga practice and meditation. And that really was the guiding light. Yes. Yes, right. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, so you really did a deep dive on that, on that one, whether you wanted to share it or not, or whether people would be interested in that story or not. But I always say that your story, no matter what your story is, it's your superpower. And so, mm-hmm. you know, I have spoken to people that, you know, have played down their story that might, you know, one, one person was a, a married lady um, and said that she had a reg- very regular life, but it turned out she was actually a super mom. Right. And mm-hmm. so, you know, the, no matter what your story is, there's power within that story. And so, um, you know, you were just very, very vulnerable enough to, yeah. to share well, that. So I appreciate I, that. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And I think I agree because, I, you know, once you've lived a story, you don't realize how powerful it is. But when, you, you know, I was working with you, I was like, oh, this is like, okay, yeah, this can take me somewhere. This is my power. So Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, you didn't have you teach yoga and you've taught yoga and, you, and Reiki and you've worked for studios, work for studios, but you didn't really have your own audience. And so uh, one of the things that she was very clear on from the beginning was that she wanted a digital um, nomadic lifestyle for traveling um, and wanted to be able to create a business around that. And also uh, through our deep dive, we figured out another superpower, which is writing. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> like that's, yeah. And that's not everybody's everybody's skill set. But that was something you were very clear about was that you wanted to incorporate some type of your writing skill set into your business. And I think we've done that. Now, the next stage we worked on was finding your ideal yoga student. And so this was a lot of fun because um, I didn't know about her passions and <laughs> you have an odd passion my my, my hippie passions yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's a total hippie chick uh, but we found out that you know I was trying to dig with her about where she was known and what community she was connected into and then we found out <laughs> that you have very much plugged into a community do you want to share what what your community is I'd never sure. heard of this. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I don't think many people have, but it's called Fish Chicks. And um, not to c- be confused with Fish Sticks, Fish Chicks. And Fish is, uh, we are, are a group of women who love the band Fish. Um, Fish is this jam band, large jam band. They're kind of like, you know, they're a branch off of the Grateful Dead, very dead inspired. So that's my, that's my crew. We're all a bunch of hippies together. <laughs> and so you're, I mean, you are super passionate about this band and super passionate about this community, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, for one thing I should mention, you know, for many reasons, I found Fish in 2009 and it's just the gifts that this band, I know it sounds absolutely ridiculous, but other than just the music, the gifts that they've brought me, Um, you know, they're part of the reason why I'm sober today. So this is a huge part of the program as well. I can really share that with people. Um, yeah, this band brings me so much joy on so many levels and so much purpose. So, which is interesting because it's somewhat of a drug type of culture. It is, it is, which is, which is, it's just so funny how it comes around and circles back, you know, it circles back. So, Yeah. 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 And you, you did say that one of the, the band members is sort of, you know. Yeah. Trey Anastasio. Maybe there's a fish fan out there. That would be pretty cool. But Trey Anastasio, he um, he was really struggling um, and he got sober and he's he's been sober for a long time now um, and clean. And over quarantine, he um, played shows. He streamed shows live and collected donations for them. And now he's opened his own, uh, I guess, kind of a fishy recovery center. Um, So I imagine a lot of fish fans will be going there to seek help for recovery. But it's just, it's amazing. And to have that 
even though we don't know each other, you know, me and Trey, but we have that connection with each other. So, right. And all right. So when I discovered, <laughs> we were trying to yeah. figure out your audience. When I discovered this um, and that you were really plugged into that community and, and I asked you or challenged you to go do a post into this group that said, if I create a series around this theme that offered this solution, would there be any be anybody interested? Mm -hmm. So can you yeah. tell me what happened yeah. when you did I, that? <laughs> yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. The first time I asked, I think I had, oh, I think I had over 400, um, <laughs> like over four, I, I, so many, I can't even remember the number, but over 400 likes and, and reactions on Facebook. And I had like, I had probably 60 or more. No, no, I had way more than 60 comments that were like, yes, I want this. Yes, I need this. So yeah. there was absolute excitement about it. So, I mean, that you, you after that, you got lit up yes. because you yes. realized that there was an audience that you could create a solution for this audience and that there was actually interest in it. Yeah. So I just, I just want to really just dial this in for people that are watching this, solo yoga teachers in particular, that if you don't have an audience and you do the work of finding your purpose, figuring out who your ideal client is, and then figuring out what the solution to their problems are, that that's kind of the magic, right? Like, I think we kind of yeah. discovered that. It's very magical, actually, how it all plays out, especially when you open your heart and you see that people, people need exactly what you've been through. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And so what happened there also, so we did a lot of work a little bit talking around sales by chat. And that is, you know, having conversations with those people that commented and, mm -hmm. and having conversations with the people um, that sent you messages. And so that started building up some relationships and trust, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was a huge part of it. Yeah. yeah. So then we went with this. So we found your purpose. We found your ideal student and then we created your signature series. Mm -hmm. And so we, yes. we did a really fantastic, I love, this is a very coachy thing that we did, but it was, um, you know, coming up with a diagram that I use. And through this diagram, we mapped out how to figure out the solution to these problems, which was the central theme. And then we figured out what the three problems were um, and then we created the solutions to those problems, which created the modules for your course. Yeah. How was that? How exactly. was that process for you? It was, it was honestly pretty easy. Once I yeah. figured out those three, those three main kind of pain points. Yeah. Um, and then turn those around. It was easy because I've been through this and, um, developing the content around it is very simple. So yeah, it was easy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, and that was a really fantastic um, kind of process to go through with you as well. Um, because when you put it out there, then you, you know, you actually had interest in it. Um, yeah. And how did you go about pricing your series? Um, well, that's an interesting question. So I, I really, I took time to look at every offering that was included in my course and um and then I broke down how much it cost for each service. Yeah. And then I kind of kind of got really specific and divided it by the number of people I wanted in my group. Yeah. And then I, I narrowed it down a little bit more so that it would be accessible. Yeah. Hopefully that's not too specific, but yeah. It's, it's and you like also that. did an early bird price rate as well. Yes. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. which, which helped yeah. kind of get people in there as well. Are you ready to go from Instagram zero to yoga biz hero in less than one hour? Are you overwhelmed with the idea of adding Instagram to your to-do list? Do you know your students and potential students are on Instagram, but you aren't sure how to connect and convert on the platform? And is this the summer that you're going to get your marketing and business skills on track? So if you answered yes to any of the above, 
Please join me on June 24th for my free webinar, Marketing 2.0 for Yoga Teachers and Business. So here's what you'll get in this free webinar. You'll get my social media plan 2.0. So many um, people already downloaded my simple social media weekly planner from my website. It's by far my biggest download. But this one is going to be hyped up and it's going to con contain the secret recipes that cover connection, character, classes, conversion and creation. So you'll get step-by-step -step guidance on a strategic posting plan Monday through Friday for the whole month. You'll get a free PDF and Canva template to create your unstoppable yoga business social media plan. And you'll get unlimited access and follow-up discussion and free support in my Yoga Biz Camp community. So you're if interested in this, go to my bio in Instagram to sign up free or go to yogabizcamp.com and you will get the registration link right there. Um, yes. So then we worked a little bit on, um, and this has been a little bit of an experiment, but we wanted to make sure, because this is a virtual series, um, and just to be clear, it, um, she, uh, Annette created a one-month series. So it was a, it was a, a four-week series of a, um, a session and then on a Tuesday and then a follow-up session on a Thursday, correct? And yes. also she um, signed up for a system. So I think uh, you went with Ribbon on this one. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, you're also offering that video on demand for the people within that course as well. And yeah, correct. Yeah. So we talked a little bit about your superpower, which is your writing. And I, th and honestly, I have to say, um, well, first of all, if you want to see her superpower, go to AnnetteArsenault.com. That is A-N-N-E-T-T-E-A-R. -E C E N E A U X dot com. <laughs> I will put that in the show notes <laughs> as yeah. an easy clickable Thanks. link. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you, your landing page, I mean, is it, you've had some experience doing it, writing landing pages before, but it was and is beyond amazing. It is mm -hmm. such Thank a you. good landing page. Folks, it is the hippiest page you've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, I strive for that. Thank you. <laughs> it is so 1970s. It is so, it so speaks to your fish chick audience, like, you know, like you're speaking to them. Um, how did you go about that process? Like, you know, how do you, what's the mindset when you go through that writing process of your landing page? Is there any uh, tricks yeah. for helping people? Yeah. Think that well through. I really yeah yeah maybe so I I really like think about for me I am my ideal client <laughs> or yeah. I was my old yeah. ver my old version of me was my ideal client yeah. um so it felt like I was really talking to my old self but in another situation it's really about speaking to your ideal client you know what would be the things that you would say to your ideal client how what would you want them to know it's I think most of the time in our situation, if we're coaching or if we're um, being yoga teachers, when we're marketing, most of the time, I think we're talking to our old selves in some realm. So I think that that could be a tip to tap into. Like, what did your old self need that you're offering people now? Yeah. Um, her, her, honestly, her, her landing page, her sales page is fantastic. Um, and so we're also, uh, I'll talk about this in a little bit, but we're also, um, part of our business planning and coaching is um, Annette is going to be writing for yoga teachers um, to help them out because it's not everybody's skill set. It's not my skill set. Um, and uh, I, you know, I think you definitely have a skill set to offer people. So we'll, we'll get to that shortly. Um, now, um, so you've got the booking system, you've got the landing page, and then you got to um, to marketing. So your marketing was specifically within this group, right? Because you yeah. didn't really need to go anywhere else. And also, I just want to be clear that this is not a sobriety program. It's it's about bringing your skill set, which is meditation and mm -hmm. um, and yoga, um, mm -hmm. to these people to help them. 
Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's about reconnection. Yeah. 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 And so yeah. when you, when you put it out there into the group, you know, you had to hustle a little bit there. It's not an easy thing, right? So can you talk about that process a little bit and how, sure. how did you end up, you know, getting people converted to a paid client? Yeah. Um, so initially, you know, I put it out there that, okay, it's here. I'm so excited to share it with you. And during that process, I had talked to a couple of women who were really interested as well. Um, a lot of people express interest, but as I learned, even though they, ex they express interest for whatever reason, it might not fit with their lives at the moment, uh, just may not be the right time. So um, I really, I found that the women that I really connected with, that I had conversations with the most were the ones who really stuck that they're the ones who came in and they were really um into it and also i i hope it's okay to share that in you know sales by chat i found i would ask them would you would you like to see this website and they would be like uh yeah sure i would like to learn more about this program and i would share and then sometimes i would hear crickets i wouldn't hear anything after i sent the link and i would say do you have questions and um not, it was kind of like nothing. So I found that the people who just kind of dead end, all right, it's not, it's not, yeah. that's, that's not, uh, you know, that's not a client right now, but the ones who engage with you and ask questions and also just sharing, being vulnerable with individual people and connecting them on a real deep level about the program and why they're coming here. I found that's the best way. And yeah, that, the relationships, that really right. Yeah. Relationships. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, you know, it, it, from an outsider's perspective, it could sound so salesy, but from my perspective, it just felt so natural because I'm yeah. just talking about where I've been and what I'm offering. So. Yeah. And that, I think that's such an interesting point because it's not salesy when it's authentic, mm -hmm. right? It's, yeah. it's like, you're not trying to pull one over on them. You're actually, yeah. you actually have something to offer and right. it's, you know, and you've, been in their shoes mm -hmm, exactly right? so that's an easy thing to share so we had um a goal and the goal was to register 10 people and one of my things so she is a hula hoop girl like she loves <laughs> the hula hoop so I said <laughs> I said I want to see when you hit your goal I want to see a hula hoop uh, video on uh, Instagram and I got my hula hoop video on Instagram <laughs> yes yes you did and then after that I still kept bringing them in so, so I I should have given you more than one hula hoop video <laughs> <laughs> so just folks if you work with me we have fun <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah and um and so you met your goal, but then you more than met your goal. So you ended up getting 13 people signed up. So folks, she got 13 people without having an audience, 13 paying people into a program. And so, you know, you, you, you know, close without expenses, you know, itching towards $2,000 in um, your, your program. Um, so how did that feel with your first launch? And, you know, it was, it was amazing. It was amazing. Um, and I just feel, I just feel really proud of myself because there were a lot of times where I was meeting my own personal roadblocks and you were there for accountability, of course, yeah. but at the same time, I kind of learned how to, how to lean into those roadblocks and just move through them. Um, and it's just so exciting. It's exciting. And from here, there are just so many different paths I can take this and do more, do more of what I love. So it's just, it's so exciting. It's well, awesome. and I got to tell you, know, I, I get um, direct messages and emails from Annette and this, there are some days that she was just like, oh my God, I love this. I want more. I've got so many ideas. And like, you are just bubbling with new kind yes. of ideas. And, and now we're also talking about, um, you know, she's partway through the program week two. And now we're kind of talking about, you know, what to do with this group afterwards, right? And then maybe yeah. there's an add-on thing here. And um, and then we're also looking at, you know, how to bring a writing in for yoga teachers. And so there's this, you know, all these possibilities have really opened up for you here. Yeah. Um, and your confidence and I, level has gone beyond. Yes, yes, definitely. I mean, at first I was afraid. I, I mean, I think that's 
that's okay. You know, I was afraid to put my stuff out there to put my story out there and all of that. But I'm just, Michael, I've told you so many times, but I'm in my flow. I'm in flow. Like I, I know that, that I'm, li- I'm living my purpose. And I think that when you're aligned with your purpose and why you're here and with your own story, I think that creativity just happens naturally and you feel that momentum and you want to keep creating. So I just, it's just amazing. So um, flow yeah. state, right? Flo- I love yeah. that. We're like, we talked a little bit about that, but yeah, the flow state is when you are in your purpose. Like I know in my yeah. life as a business coach, you know, everything I've done running a yoga studio, being a solo teacher, teaching virtual yoga, being a tech geek my whole life, <laughs> that I'm in my flow state of exactly where I'm supposed to be. And I, you know, we very much have talked about this a lot of this, this mm-hmm. is what you're meant to be doing. And you, when you know that it's this, it's a feeling inside that you, it's even hard to describe. And I think flow state is a great word for that because mm-hmm. uh, it is hard to put into words, but it's just like this mm-hmm. core knowing in your being that this, mm-hmm. I'm not meant to be anywhere else. This is what I, this is my purpose. And mm-hmm. it's such a great feeling when you are living out your purpose in real life. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, there'll be times you've probably experienced it when you're practicing yoga and you just kind of drop out and you're in flow state then. But I feel like when you're really living in your purpose and living with your why and aligned in all of those things, past, future and present, it's like the flow is consistent. It's constant. It's every day. And things are just easier. I mean, everything is just so much easier. And I don't mean to, (laughs) I don't mean to, you know, like get in the flow state, but that's okay. You're a hippie chick. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And it's just, I, I truly understand what it means to be in the flow state now. And I, I'm addicted to it. I love it. I want to continue on. Yeah. And I just, I'm I'm in love with it. So what was the difference prior to us working together what was what was the place you were there? What what was where were you business wise, uh, plans wise? Where were you then? I, you know, it might not sound drastically different, but it feels drastically different. Um, I was working, you know, I was doing virtual um, online classes for online studios. Teach, you know, I was teaching them, and um, I had some private clients of my own. But and I was also doing website work for. Um, website work and marketing for um, yoga studios and wellness centers. And it may not sound that different, but it feels incredibly different because now I have my own audience. And before when I was working at this, uh, this online studio, I loved it. I aligned with it. It was very great, but those people just were not my people, you know, and I don't think we're meant to have reach every person. Right. And I think, I think when you reach your audience and your people, they naturally want to show up. They're naturally there for you and you speak to them better. You can help them more. So I feel like I really had a desire to connect with my audience, not someone, you know, a studio's audience yeah. that I'm probably not going to carry with me in the long run. Yeah. So, yeah. What was that? So, um, you know, for the folks out there, you know, it's a big commitment, um, you know, financially and time-wise to um, hire a coach uh, and a consultant. So what was the, you know, when you came to me, I think you found me probably through the Yoga Alliance Mm -hmm. webinars, is that correct? And then Mm -hmm. I think we did a a chat together um, before you hired me. So what was the, um, what was the thing that made you hire a coach to help you out? Because that is a big, you know, it's a mm-hmm. lot of, stu- you know, I've worked with a lot of studios and over the last year, um, since COVID, you know, I've been seeing a lot of teachers like yourself and working with them, um, realizing that they can do this by themselves. Mm-hmm. And so what was the, re- what was, you know, what was the instigator to make you put money down to hire a coach? Well, you know, it's all coincidence because I get this email and I see that you, that this man, Michael J is going to be talking about um, your purpose in yoga teaching and the business of it. And I was like, well, I'm going to join. So I joined the webinar and I just hear you talking about everything that I needed, everything. (laughs) And I was like, okay, I need, I need this. I need this. And to be honest, um, you know, I, I'm so happy that I made the choice, but 
uh, to be honest, I, I almost backed out of our call, our first call, because mm-hmm. I was almost, maybe that was a roadblock for me, but it was almost like, uh, you know, maybe I don't need this, or maybe I can't do this, or maybe this isn't the right time. But I leaned into that roadblock once again, and I, we ended up having an awesome conversation, and things just kind of, the momentum kept building, and um, I, I'm so glad that I made that choice. And, you know, money is definitely a factor, but, you know, this is an investment. And I, for so long, was stuck as a yoga teacher in this place where I, I was just missing the, the key. I was missing why, why am I teaching yoga? What's my why? You know, I always knew because I felt called to teach yoga, but what's my real why? Why am I, what am I trying, how am I trying to change lives here? And who's my audience? And that's, that's what we found. And that's what I've needed for over, over five years now. I've been stuck in this place. It was like, I waited all this time. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I need help. I need this. Like somebody show me the way. And I took a chance with Michael and all of a sudden in what, like how long, like four four months. months. Yeah. Yeah. Three or four months. It's like, okay. I, I mean, you know, it's just like everything sped up. Yeah. And 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 now you have a pathway to income that's actually paid for the coaching and yes, exactly. And And the other thing about having a program like this now, it's now you can do rinse and repeat, right? So you have all the tools to now, you know, we're working on our next stages of our business plan together, but within this course creation, you have something that you can now duplicate. Yeah. You actually have the keys and the process to, to duplicate in this process. Mm -hmm. Um, over and, and over again over yeah. and over again yeah yeah um so now you've launched last week and you got these people into your program how does that feel it feels amazing and to be working with these women who um they're part of my community and being able to connect with this, them this way and listening to fish together it's just I feel like I said a thousand times in this call already, it just feels very aligned. And I get this high after our classes are over, you know, (laughs) I'm like, I do know. (laughs) I I went, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like I want to stay, I want to stay up all night and just like, just live on that high and create. And, and it's just, it's amazing. And I've loved connecting with them and seeing their journeys. And a lot, you know, a lot of, uh, some of these women are new to yoga. I mean, and, and meditation. And I can already see it's changing their lives. So I'm really happy that they're along for the ride. Yeah. Um, So you, I mean, you're creating community there, which is everything, right? You're, you're really creating this community of like-minded people um, and they're probably leaving feeling good. And you've got all the systems set up, the websites, the, um, the video on demand, um, you know, and now we've got, the next stages of our journey, right? So we're going into yeah. phase, phase two of working with each other. Mm-hmm. So, um, and then I'm going to be launching next month in July, an eight week program, because what I've been seeing is with people like yourself, I have been seeing this, um, this amazing transformation and people like yourself being able to financially, you know, m- make a go of it. So I'm actually turning this process that I've been doing with the solo teachers into an eight week program starting next month. It's a summer camp um, and it's in my yoga biz camp community, which can be found at yogabizcamp.com. So I'm going to, Annette is going to be part of that. So she's going to come into that community um, through the process and she's actually going to, you know, share and help people with her journey through that course as well. So I want to thank you for that, Annette. Um, Exciting. So, let, let's kind of wrap this up. I want to ask you just uh, three fun questions. And the first one is something people don't know about you that you're willing to share. Well, this one may not be that goofy or fun, but um, I think a lot of people know that I'm a yoga teacher and I do other woo-woo things like Reiki, but I <laughs> actually uh, have a background in journalism. I got my degree in mass communications and I studied uh, journalism, uh, new media, and a little bit of film. So it's kind of funny because it all, I was wondering how yoga, the yoga world and my journalism skills were going to combine together and here they are. So. Fantastic. 
Um, what's a favorite biz app or website or something that you use? By far, Canva. But that that's Canva. my jam. Yeah, <laughs> Canva. I agree. Yeah, yeah. It's and I I I subscribe to the uh, the pro version yeah, because it, it it pays for itself. It's yeah. amazing. I use it every day. So I absolutely. So I'm, you know, my background is marketing and design. And I was in the Adobe, Photoshop, InDesign, going, you know, all the way back to Quark Express. So I was using all the... All, <laughs> Quark all the, Express. Well, yeah. <laughs> do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, so I, that, <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was weaned on Quark Express um, in my uh, graphics world. And I... A couple of years ago, a year or so ago, I gave up all my subscriptions and because Canva just for what I need now, it does everything. And I agree with the pro version because what I love is if I do a YouTube cover, then I can within seconds convert that, resize it to a uh, Instagram post. Mm -hmm. Right. So you can just yeah. you can just. And so, yeah. And they keep improving that that what they yeah, offer yeah. in there like crazy and also having yeah. the stock imagery in there built in as well is fantastic and so I, I yeah. thousand percent agree with that one I'm a big Canva fan and my biggest the thing that I've been using a lot lately has been um the remove background feature <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> so yeah if anybody yeah. looks at my Instagram posts or my YouTube videos or anything like that where I've got this um orange background right now um, but I, I shot all these photographs in front of green screen and then just went into, onto Canva and with one click, remove the background and with one click, added a shadow and it's just yeah. magic. <laughs> I know. And that, I mean, that, that tool alone, I mean, you definitely don't need, you have no need for Photoshop at that point, Yeah, you know? Yeah. So um, but for what we do, I think in the professional yeah. world, you definitely need yeah. more techniques. But I think uh, in the yoga world, mm -hmm. it's probably one of the best tools. And if anybody's not aware of it, I actually don't use this. But um, now Canva has so that you can do your social media postings um, within you can schedule them all within Canva. Canva. I didn't so, know that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So awesome. they have a, they have a calendar feature and you just add your graphics to it and everything wow. and you can schedule it out. So I think that's a, that's, that's a amazing. great thing. And speaking yeah. of which um, social media next week on Thursday, the 24th, I am doing my social media for yoga businesses 2.0. And this is, I've, I've taken my, um, sorry, I'm diverse. I'm going off here, but uh, I'm taking my um, my coach's um, method of social media, and he's genius. Like people literally want to throw money at him, and I have converted his program to be just for yoga businesses. And so um, the sign up can be found on my Instagram at yogabizcamp. No, yogabizcamp, and also on yogabizcamp.com. Um, but that's uh, Thursday, the twenty fourth at two p.m. And the recordings will be available as well if you register. And that is free. I'm giving that away free. It's actually part of my eight-week series um, in the marketing module. And I'm offering that for free next week. So super excited about that. All right, back to you. <laughs> Your favorite personal um, app, biz or, uh, biz, uh, app or website? Anything? Oh, for fun? Yeah. yeah. I love um, Chani. I, I feel like I'm saying her name wrong. Chani Nicholas, she's an astrologer and she just put out an app. Um, and every week she puts out personalized horoscopes for the week. And I read it like it's the daily Sunday or something. <laughs> so it's, it's my thing. I every, it's my Sunday ritual. Let me check out what's happening. And it's so accurate. So highly recommend. So what is it called again? It's, it's just called Chani. Um, and it's, spell that? so it's, C H A N I. Okay. Cool. And uh, just type in Chani app and it'll pop right up. And uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's awesome. Yeah. Well, um, so, Annette, how do we find you? How do you can find, yeah. You can find me on Instagram at Wild Moon Honey. Uh, should I spell that out? And W I L D M O O N H O N E Y. And um, yeah, 
please join me on Instagram. Yeah, and she's she's awesome. And 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 her website is Annette Arsenault. And folks, do go check out her landing page while it's still there. She's going to be redoing her website in the next week or so. Um, and for yoga teachers that need some help with their writing and i know that you know and that is you know it, it's a skill set that not everybody has and you definitely have it by spades like it's just amazing and so if anybody any yoga teachers out there or yoga studios need help writing a program or a sales page annette is your girl this fish chick, <laughs> <Thanks>. this <laughs> hippie chick, <laughs> yeah. but, but um, she just has a real knack for writing um, the, the sales copy um, directed to your audience. So I definitely recommend if you need a little bit of help to please do reach out to her and have a conversation with her. And uh, Annette, I want to thank you so much for joining me today and sharing your story, your successes, uh, your journeys. I, I got to say, your wins are my wins. Uh, you have had so many messages on Instagram from me saying, how did it go? How did it go? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, but you light me up. You, you've, you've helped me flourish. And I'm just so grateful for you. And I, I'm having so much fun working with you. So thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you, Annette. I'm super excited about the future and working together and just building this rocking nomadic lifestyle um and we've, we're even talking about working on a couple of projects together as well so uh i'm a big fan of that and i appreciate you being here and sharing your story with everybody today and i think that a lot of yoga teachers can be really inspired by your success over the last um, few months so thank you thank you so much michael talk to you soon this podcast episode is brought to you by my very own pilot program that is launching next month for solo yoga teachers. So just like Annette's story, I'm taking everything I have learned over the last couple of years working with solo teachers in creating a registered series into a group coaching program. And it's a pilot program, which means it's going to be a lot more affordable and you get the benefits of a lot more one-on-one -on -one coaching time with me. So this is going to be a eight week program. It's a summer camp, July through August. If you can't make a session, there will be recordings of it in my Yoga Biz Camp community. And we're going to start by finding your purpose, your ideal audience and creating your signature series and then how to market and sell it. it I'm super excited about this. Uh, I'm really looking forward to putting this into a group coaching format. And it's going to be within my own Yoga Biz Camp community, which means that I'm going to be in there offering a lot more support, along with you're going to have the support of your, your other participants in that course, the peer-to-peer -peer support. So you can go to yogabizcamp.com to find out all the details on this. There is... Because it's a pilot program and because I'm doing this in a fast launch, I'm offering this at a deeply discounted price at $499 for the whole eight weeks, which is a steal. So if you are interested, you want to get in at that price and I guarantee you by September, you will have a program that is sellable uh, and launchable and is in alignment with your purpose and just like Annette, creates helps you get into your flow state so you can send me a message on instagram at yoga biz champ or you can go to my website and register directly at yogabizcamp.com and i hope to see you on the inside Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on our podcast. It really helps us out a lot. Thanks a million.